or I can use this, either one. Probably use that one because it makes lots of noise. And this one, you need to read the size. It's a double off. You cannot use any other size in here because it doesn't fit. So you can only use a double ought. I need to order more of those. So as I passed around, this is a size two, which we will be making capsules with, but it's not with the machine. I will show you in a second. This is a size three. Cannot use this. I have been looking to find this, uh, capsules for those, I mean the machines, and I haven't been able to find them. Again, a size three. I want to say this is a uh, triple odd because there's no size on it. Here's my double odd. So I'm going to use this because that's the one that fits in here. So I'm going to go with three grams because I mentioned that. And I'm going to tear this out which means I'm gonna zero it out, and I'm gonna be careful not to bump the table. Um, so I have eight grams on there. Do you see how much eight grams is? Mm -hmm. And I wanna make sure I don't get anything on my scale because that will change my measurements. So I'm going to pour this out. And I'm at four grams. When we do the weighing next week, you'll see how much fun it is. So I'm at three three point seven grams. Let's take a little bit out of here. Let's see if I'm at three. Oh, close enough to three. What did you say, Darren? Brandon, sorry. Oh, I thought it was in the upper percentile. Oh, thank you. Okay, now I'm at 3.3. .3. Somebody write that down for me, 3.3, because I'm going to need that number later. Can I use it? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put something under here because this is going to make a mess. This is cake powder, by the way, guys. Do you make contributions on cake powder? Hmm? Do you make donations of cake powder? That would be wonderful. Oh, it never fails. And she knows, <laughs> which is going to be on the video. So I'm going to pull my capsules apart, and I'm going to put my tops here. We need the bigger one in here. And I just push it in. I don't push it all the way in, I just push it into where it's even with that. You're not going to be able to see it until you flip it over, so give me a few seconds. And those go in here. And once you put a capsule in, you really can't put another one in. Don't wear, don't wear layers underneath this thing, it's too hot. This is pretty much the most time consuming part of it. And you wanna make sure it's flush with it, so it'll push it down a little bit with your fingers. And you can do that because you have gloves on. You cannot do it without gloves. Be a little bit more careful with the capsules than I was, just dumping them out. I think there's 24 capsules. Yeah, I was gonna ask if you all wanted us to get gloves on and help you. Oh no, I'm fine. Okay. Thank you for offering though, Brandon. Let's do the 
question. Don't wear triple layers. <laughs> Just fair advance warning. Now, in some of the real world places that you're going to work, they have machines that will do it for us. So, I'm going to pour this on top. And I mean, I don't have enough. So I should have gone over here. So it was 3.30, right? So this is the second most time consuming. Actually, I have little tiny spoons that are shaped like that. Um, that would be much easier to use. So I'm at 13.8, even though it says, because it's bouncing back and forth. We're going with 13.8, so if you would, it's going to come into play. how much of a mess it is. And I'm going to scoop this up just because I need it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take this and I'm going to tap down this depository. I mean the You all saw how it was right level with the top. Mm -hmm. Look at it now. Mm -hmm. Playing room. Still playing room, absolutely. <laughs> I'm probably going to need some more. You guys are getting the gist of the idea, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to do this repetitively until they're filled. But we don't fill the top ones, we just fill the bottom ones. And I need to make sure that I get all the medication in these. Okay. Neil's right. Uh, 24 capsules, because that's going to come into play with the math. You guys get the gist of the idea, right? Make mm -hmm. sure that we have it all in there and that it's filled to the top. And I get as much in there as I can. So, 
So I'm going to take my caps and I'm going to put my you can do it at the same time or as you're doing this. Either way, it doesn't matter. Just as long as I get my caps top in here, my lids. Shoot. Can you count out 24 of those and measure them? I mean, and weigh them? You can put them in the, the boat. Six times four is 24, right? Huh? Oh, because... Sorry. It's not your fault. Well, yeah, it is, because I asked Kristen to do that. <laughs> if the capsule goes flying, you don't do what I just did. Edit that out. The magic. No one saw that. I saw that. I'm going to put this on top and I'm going to press down. And hopefully, all of my capsules come together. <laughs> come together. <laughs> Voila! All of my capsules came together. They're all the same. The this is the same. All of them in here are the same size. No, um, the top one is small compared to the bottom. Here, come here and <laughs> take a little. Uh, I won't say that. So if you would dump those back in, I'd appreciate that. Um, normally it would be like you guys are like Yeah. Oh, awesome blossoms. I have to watch that. So we know that one capsule weighs, um, or the, the 24 capsule weighs 200, 290. So I have 1950, and I do have some excess that's here. What was the? So the first sheet was 3.3, and the second one was 13.8. So add those together. Somebody got a calculator quickly? It's going to be 14 something. And every time I hit the table, it changes the. No, it's seven. Thank you. 17.1. And we measured the capsules themselves as being 290, right? Mm -hmm. So 1950 minus 290 is going to give us what? Thank <laughs> you.